<laughs> well, here we are again in the goat barn. I wanted to talk to you today about something that's pretty controversial. Can weathers and bucks, can they eat alfalfa hay? And the answer is yes and no. At some point in your goat journey, you may have asked these questions. Can my weather goats be fed alfalfa? Can they be fed grain? What about my bucks? Can they be fed alfalfa, hay, or grain? And an easy answer that a lot of vets and people will give, that I may have even said it myself at some point, the easy answer is, well, no, because they can get urinary calculi. They can get sick on being fed alfalfa hay. But that's a simplistic answer that really doesn't address the real answer, the real bottom line to all of this. And I want to get into that today. This is what's at the door. <laughs> What are you doing? You guys. What are you doing? Don't come in here. No, wait. You guys, you're causing problems. This is the self-serve milking barn, huh? Yeah, we have a problem, guys. Yes, we do. We have a problem. Yes. Faith, you gotta get down. <laughs> Is this the self serve milking bar? What? Well, you gotta get down, Faith. And I guess you gotta get up. You can do it. You can do it. She's gotta do a running jump. There we go. Ah, phew. This is definitely the self-serve milking barn. I should have locked the door. What are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. What all of this comes down to is nutrition. And I have done a video on nutrition on my channel, on goat nutrition. But... <laughs> we're gonna have a wreck. Okay. All of this comes down to nutrition. I have done a video on nutrition on my, on my channel here that you can watch, and it goes into a lot of detail of just the general overall nutrition for goats. But for this particular subject, well, it also comes down to nutrition. You know, in 2022, everything in our lives comes down to nutrition, doesn't it? So to answer the questions, can male goats have alfalfa? Yes, male goats can have alfalfa. And to answer the question, can male goats have <laughs> grain? <laughs> oh, we almost had a wreck. And to answer the question, can male goats have grain? Yes, male goats can have grain. But there's more to it than that, like I've said. And when I get done with Opal here, I can focus and we'll get into the details. All right, there you go, little one. Yes, good girl. All right, so the goats are milked and now I can focus. And they're not breaking in either, so I can really focus. So really, the underlying question in all of this is do these, do, does alfalfa and grain cause urinary calculi? That is the question. So I have said that yes, they can be fed alfalfa and grain, but obviously for so many people to be asking this question and for this to be such a controversial subject, there's obviously something that's going on and, and that is True, there are problems that can arise from feeding alfalfa. And uh, you know, you may go into groups and find that people say, well, my vet said that don't ever feed alfalfa or grain to my weathers because he says that he's putting down a goat a week because of urinary calculi. And, and so there are those problems. I mean, that would be discouraging for a vet to have these heartbroken 
goat mama's coming in with their goats and, and he's having to put them down. And so then it's easy for him to say, well, don't feed them alfalfa, don't feed them grain. <laughs> so this video isn't about urinary calculi, but I wanted to really quick just touch base and just explain that really quick uh, before we move on. So urinary calculi is when there is actual stones that develop in the body of the goat that cannot pass through the urethra. And, and it's more common in male goats because there's just a longer passageway and, and male, female goats can get it as well but it's just more common in the male goats and it's caused by an imbalanced diet. So you may find that one person can feed alfalfa and have no problems and then the next person can feed it and have all kinds of problems. One person, you know, this pasture over here can be fine and this pasture over here isn't fine. So now what? What do you need to consider as you choose your hay, as you choose your grain, as you put together your nutrition program for your goat herd? What do you need to think about? Well, the first thing, you always have to have minerals out. I know I have a whole video on this in my channel and I kind of harp on it, but have minerals out. Your goats have to have loose minerals that are made specifically for goats. Don't shirk on that, just do it. And then just realize that when you choose your grain, when you're choosing your pelleted feed for your goats, realize that when it's labeled for goats, it's specifically put together by a nutritionist to be well balanced for your goat. It's made specifically for them, and it's made by somebody that knows what they're doing. And so they know what to put in it and how to balance everything. And so choose grains that are specifically labeled for goats because they are formulated to be safe for a well-balanced diet. There are a lot of people that feed boss or black oil sunflower seeds, but you need to realize that those are really high in phosphorus and most grains are high in phosphorus and most uh, even browse out in the field like weeds and just grass are more high in phosphorus. Probably if you're feeding your goats a lot of treats, those are high in phosphorus. And then something like alfalfa, it's more usually more high in calcium. So just a bit ago I mentioned that you know one person can have problems with alfalfa and one person doesn't. What's the deal with that? Well, it really comes down to the actual nutritional makeup of that specific hay or that specific field, that specific grass, that specific weed, whatever your goats are feeding. It comes down to the actual nutritional makeup of that particular item that you're feeding them. So the alfalfa hay here in Montana is not the same nutritional makeup as something down in Florida or somewhere over east or in Oregon or, or down in Arizona, you know, everywhere and even in certain areas <laughs> because of how the pasture's been cared for, if it's been fertilized or not, or, you know, there's so many factors that go into it of just the health of the soil itself. Alfalfa hay here or there will be different. So one of the things that you can do is test your hay, actually get your hay tested that you bring home. Then you will know without a shadow of a doubt what is happening in, with your hay, that you will know specifically the breakdown of all the minerals and nutrients in that hay. And also always utilize your local extension office. They are always so willing to help. That's why they're there. And they are just a wealth of knowledge and information about your specific area and the hay that you're getting in your area. So I've talked a lot about calcium and phosphorus. Those are really important and, and actually the crux of this whole conversation is calcium and phosphorus. When one of them is imbalanced, they cause problems. And what you will be looking for in everything that you look at when you're testing your hay, when you're looking at labels for grains or anything that you're feeding, or even your pasture that you're feeding, you want a two to one ratio of calcium to phosphorus. And that would be the entire diet of your goat. We're not just talking just grain or just hay. We're talking about the hay you feed them, what they're browsing and, and eating out in the pasture, what you're feeding them for treats, what you're feeding them for grain, what you're feeding them, whatever that, whatever that you have that they're putting in their mouths. You need to be making sure that their total diet 
is balanced in the calcium and phosphorus two to one. So if you have a goat that needs grain, give them grain. If you have a, a doe that's pregnant, if you have a doe that's in milk, if you have a buck that is in rut and needs extra energy and an extra flesh on his bones because he's so preoccupied, give them grain. If you have a weather that, that needs a little umph to his diet that's a little skinny um, or maybe an older weather that, that's getting just old and harder to get around and needs some grain, give them grain. Just make sure that it's balanced. Check those labels. And maybe when you do find that you've tested your hay, you've tested your, your grass, you, you've tested things and you, you kind of know what's happening with what you're feeding your goats and you realize that they actually do need more calcium, give them some alfalfa and or give them some beet pulp. Just have a reason for why you're doing what you're doing in your nutrition program. One of the more dangerous aspects of just mixing your own feed or your own grain is just the fact that you're not a nutritionist most likely. And one thing that goats are really good at doing, actually all animals are good at this, is picking and choosing what they want to eat. So if you mix something, they decide that they really like the corn or whatever, something in that grain mix. And they're going to really just pick out, pick out, pick out, pick out as they eat that. And then, oops, you've got a problem because that particular grain was really high in phosphorus. It wasn't balanced and it caused a problem. And so just be aware of that, that as you're feeding your animals, if they're really picking and choosing, if you are mixing your own grains, just be aware that those things can happen and keep your eye on that so that you're not suddenly surprised. Oh no, what's happening? Oh no, this is what they were doing. So as you feed your goats, use your five senses and always watch them. Take that five minutes to just feed them and stand there and enjoy your lovely goats so that you can be aware of the things that they're doing and be alerted to problems that might be happening um, if you weren't paying attention. And of course, I'm, I've got to talk about this <laughs> uh, because it's something that has so affected uh, me at the beginning of my goat journey is the water source. Our well is this high in sulfur and iron and that causes problems, but water can also be high in calcium and that can cause problems like we've just talked about when there's an imbalance of calcium and phosphorus. If there's too much phosphorus, if there's too much calcium, that causes problems. And so if, if you're like pulling your hair out, what is going on? What is causing this problem? I, I know it can't be the hay or the grain I'm feeding because I've tested it and the grain is right. It's go grain. It's balanced. What is going on? Always check your water uh, and just make sure that that is not the culprit that you just overlooked. So there you have it. Male goats can have alfalfa and grain. In fact, I have actually fed my weathers and my bucks alfalfa hay for years and had no problems. And there are a lot of factors in that too. Where would I put an extra pile of hay and, and the extra expense of having that extra pile of hay? So sometimes it is just easier to have that one pile of hay that you feed to all your goats. Just be aware that you need to make sure it's balanced and pay attention to all that nutritional part of an aspect of just raising goats. And I do feed a pelleted grain to my does that are pregnant and, and when I'm milking them and, and when they're in milk. But it is specifically formulated for goats. I have a few does that I don't breed, so every year they're just kind of pet goats. They don't produce anything and I don't feed them any grain. I also have two weathers that all along I've never fed grain to. One of them is, oh, they're both really old, uh, but one of them is failing faster than the other one, and I, I should start giving him some grain to help boost his energy hit and just plump him up a bit more. And, and that would be, you know, really the only reason that I would feed a weather some some grain. And and so all these years I, I haven't fed those does that aren't producing and my weathers any grain. Uh, because they because they're not doing anything. They really, you know, they're not putting their their energy into creating something, uh, many times they can get fat. And being fat is just as dangerous. So I guess, you know, you can uh, 
baby your, your goats, you can give them treats and all of that. Just make sure that they are not getting fat <laughs> and also that your, your pig is paying attention to that calcium and phosphorus ratio. So really, almost everything that pertains to the health of your goat comes down to nutrition. And just know that one mineral imbalance can have a domino effect and affect everything. So if there is an imbalance in just one mineral, it can affect so much. And that is why it's so important to pay attention to every aspect of what you are feeding your goats. So like always, the answer isn't clear cut. You can feed alfalfa hay and grain to your male goats if it's balanced in calcium and phosphorus. And you can't feed it to them if it's not. I hope you are having a great day enjoying those goats. Thank you for joining me in this video. My name is Delcy and I look forward to spending this time with you in the next video. If you are new here, check out my Raising Goats playlist. It will definitely help you as you're raising your goats. And it encourages me so much when I get those likes, subscribes, and comments. I love hearing from you. Have a great week.